I'm going to show you how to use a solar panel to charge your mobile phone or a power bank. First of all, you'll need a solar panel. Now with that solar panel, quite often they'll actually come with a connector. I'm also using a regulator that you can see here. Now, the regulator itself, you can get them without the actual uh, display which will actually help ensure minimal losses so your device will actually charge faster. And you can actually see this in action because if we have a look at my old HTC phone like so and we actually turn it on we can see here that it is currently at 90% recharged. So, what we'll do is, sorry, let's try that again. It's actually 80%. And you can see it's fairly late in the afternoon. Okay, so the screensaver thing is on, so it's off. Okay, so we'll come back around here and have a look at this regulator again. You can actually see, let's you know, bring it out of the shade. Bit. You can actually see that it's actually outputting 4.6 volts at the moment. Now that sort of goes up to 5 because I've actually set it to 5 volts to be compatible with the phone. If I actually press this button, I'll actually show you how much is actually coming in through the actual solar panel, which is 5.7, uh, 5.8. So it sort of fluctuates depending on 5.9, 6.1, depending on what's actually happening with the sun at the time. Like if it goes behind a cloud, it'll obviously drop. Sometimes when it comes on the fringe of a cloud, it'll actually jump up. So at the moment it's about 6.1. If I press the button again, you'll see it's actually outputting 5 volts at the moment and sort of jumping between 4.8, 4.7, back to 5. I've actually set it at about 5.1, so sometimes it struggles to do that. But I've seen it drop down to about 4.5 and it still manages to, manages to actually charge the mobile phone, which is pretty cool. If we come back to the phone again, and just see if it's actually gone up from 80% because it has been charging fairly fast. Now have a look here, it's actually at 81. So, as I said, you can sort of see within a very short space of time, it's, uh, it's gone up another percent. So, it's quite impressive. And uh, the minimal costs for these panels too, they're quite cheap. Obviously, if you get a larger one, it's going to charge faster. Oops, I'm casting a shadow there on that. Um, obviously, if you get a larger panel with uh, more capability, it's going to be faster. And also, this regulator, this can actually handle up to 40 volts and output, you know, it's, uh, you can actually uh, output down to 1 volt or something like that through the little pot on there. You can actually charge, you know, change that down or up. Uh, I was just interested to see, you know, the LED display and see how much it was actually, you know, getting in from the panel and how much it was actually putting out. But as I said, because of that LED display, it actually has an impact because obviously it needs power to actually power that. And if you have it without it, and you just use a multimeter or whatever to test how much you want coming out, uh, then you can do that and your device will recharge faster. Obviously, if it uses, you know, if it works on a mobile phone, it also works on a, on a um, power bank, and I've tried that as well. I'll show that later, but um, yeah, it definitely works. So uh, I'll have a list of parts and everything underneath here as well, so you can actually go on online and buy them and set them up. But um, with the wiring, it's really two wires: the positive and the negative from the solar panel going into the regulator, which you can see here, and then out of the regulator here with a cable, just a USB connector there and then coming back here into the phone. Now with the actual uh, USB cable there was one actually supplied with the actual um, solar panel. It was actually wired or soldered onto the panel and then hot glued on. So what I did, is I, did I just prized that hot glue off the back and uh, repurposed it to, uh, to come as the output from the actual regulator. And so uh, there's just two wires, as I said, very easy, you know, positive and negative from the actual panel into the positive and negative on the regulator. And then repurpose this panel, uh, this cable that was on the panel and um, use that for the positive and negative 
and then you just have like a normal USB connector that you'd use on your outlet, um, you know, on a power point, plug it in and off she goes. So, you know, I don't know how much you'd save a year by doing it via solar, but it's a bit of fun and also if you're camping or whatever, you can actually, um, you know, have, have a, uh, a device recharging. You can also use it for other things, anything that uses 5 volts. You could also use it, you know, to recharge those 1.2 or 1.5 volt uh, rechargeable batteries as well quite easily because um, as I said you can actually change the pot on this down to how many of how many volts you want to uh, to have output so uh, there you have it we'll just have another quick look here and see what you know, what it's up to now that didn't quite catch that 82 so there you go have fun